Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bear Cave, the best show in all of pro wrestling here at Pandemonium Pro Wrestling. My name is Sock Monkey Mike, and we have a stacked show for you. I have two guests for you, actually, this time. So we have two for the price of one. Let's start off with the first guest. Right here, we, we had a little bit of a, of a confrontational issue last show. But, but, but no, 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 you're a talented competitor, you know, going up high in the ranks here in the SoCal professional wrestling scene. Snipes, and then Snipes, I, I see your t-shirt there. Uh, it's pr pretty nice. That's right. $20 on Snipes.com, you know? People who are at home, you know what to do. And then my second gu guest um, does not have his own t-shirt, but is still, still a great competitor. He's competing on Hard Knocks Wrestling and a couple other promotions here and there. It's Wicked Wicked. Yeah, so I'm going to be getting into works on that, so don't, don't trip on that, dog, all right? So don't worry. I'm going to get to work on that, but I'm just here. I'm ready. I'm happy, and I can't wait to compete. Yeah, you know what? Speaking about competing, we're, for those at home who are not aware, uh, we're talking about this beautiful title right here, which is the Gen Z Championship, representing a generation full of young, hot talent and a generation so prestigious that one who gets this title is going to represent that generation proud. Now, first, I do want to ask Snipes because you did have that confrontation last week with John. I mean, first off, are you okay from that? Because I, there was a lot of tension there. Am I okay? I mean, Honest John is like what I equate to what my German Shepherd makes in the park. He's less than nothing to me. So, yeah, I'm good. Everything's cool, you know? I, I know. I can tell there's a little bit of tension, though, because, of course, not, not just from the tension of that, but because it is the tournament. We don't know who's facing who yet. However, speaking about that, we also have your second partner over here, which is Wicked Wicked. Now, Wicked, I know a couple shows ago, you and Vinny Wasco kind of got into it. You know, you had to give him a little bit of the chin check. I, I, I get your little shit that's going on, but like, are you feeling anything up here from like just experiencing what just happened? Not real. I, you know, actually, yeah, I have because I had a bit of a problem since, you know, the last time we were in a match, in a singles match, I beat Vinny Wasco. But, you know, that's fine. They had him on before me. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just happy that I got my time now. That's, again, respect, you know, of what you do. But, gentlemen, I mean, the main point of this show is to showcase this title. Generation Z, the Gen Z title, representing a prestige in pandemonium pro wrestling. Now, I'm going to start off with Snipes, and all due respect, Wicket, what does this championship, because I know in the past you, you know, had your eyes on this championship last time. Like, what, what's, what's in that mind of yours? Are you saying that this championship is nothing and it's just another accolade in what you're already a young and up-and-coming career? Or is this actually meaning something to you? Well, let me say this. If I go up against people like Wicked, who took on Winnie Wasco, Wasco, I understand him beating him, and I give him much props to that. I mean, Vinny says he's the muscle man, but come on, it's fat. Um, now, the Gen Z title, I don't know what generation I am, X, Y, Z, but I need this title. I need it for my own pride, my own accolade. So if it's me and Wicked final match in the tournament, I can dig that, you know? We'll put on a good match, especially if you beat Win Vinny. I give him much props for that. I mean, props given. I mean, you two have very respective careers thus far in your young careers. But there's got to be a point where two of the youngest, hottest stars, I don't know if I would go that far, are going to face each other in the ring. There's going to be tension. I can already tell. Look at Wicket's eyes. He has that tension in his eyes. If I can find his eyes in his mask, I don't even... Like, do you have eyes in the back of your head, buddy? Like, what, like what, what's going on there? Are you talking shit? Nah, real quick, homie. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm chill, I'm chill. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. chill, bro, I'm chill. Here. I just, I'm, I'm getting a really weird vibe from you, bro. He like, ain't I, worth it. Yeah. He's, he's no Vinny Wasco, you know? He ain't. Uh, oh, yeah, he ain't. And of course, with due respect to your opponents that you guys have faced in the past, you can't deny the fact that you two could be in the finals. You, could, you two could be for this Gen Z title. There has to be some sort of tension here. No, I respect this man. 
But when it comes to the title, Snipes is going to overcome. I mean, that's just like facts. That's it. Like, I'm going to be a champion. I am a champion. I look like a champion. You got to look like a champion to wear that Gen Z title. Agreed. But you got to realize something. You two are at the height of your careers. You guys have very respectable, as, a, as an unbiased journalist, I got to respect the drip, as they say. Is that what kids say nowadays? I, I, I don't know. But you got to respect where respect is due. You guys have done a lot in your careers. Snipes, you've done a lot in the California wrestling scene and traveling all over the world. Same thing with you. You've done a lot. But at one point, all that respect goes out the damn window and you got to face each other. There's no love. There's no respect. All there is is winning. So how do you feel about that? Because I could tell within your eyes that you're thinking, man, I don't think I like this guy anymore. Is that what you're thinking? No, I was more so thinking I don't like Mikey, but that's you. Um, I, I completely agree with you on that, bro. <laughs> I mean, do you want us to fight? Do you want me to take him out like I took out Honest John? That's actually who I really want to fight at in the finals, just to shut him up. But if it's me and Wicked, I respect this man. I don't think he's going to be the champion. No offense, but I mean, like... What else can you do? Do you want us to fight here? Want us to brawl? Because I'm about to chin check you with Wicked. Okay, first off, I'm not a competitor. The but doctors... you're talking like one. Really? Really? So you're saying that this is all my fault, right? Because my unbiased journalism, I try to get the hot scoop for the fans watching at home. I'm trying to get the exclusive. Yes, there's drama on this show. Yes, there's certain brawls that happen. You were a part of that argument with Honest John. You were in a brawl with Vinny Wasco, knowing that Vinny Wasco is just this much damn better than you. So how about this, gentlemen? Fight for this title. Meet in the finals. Meet in the first round. But at the end of the day, this is the most prestigious title that you'll ever even get close to.